channel. Okay, so for this video, it's kind of like a mini, not, it's not really a haul because I didn't really get that many things, but I wanted to do an Ulta unbagging of a couple of items that are inside of this bag. Um, as you guys know, it was Ulta's 25th birthday, so, you know, they were having a couple specials, and it so happened that they have their beauty products, if you buy $19 and $50, $19.50 worth of stuff. You receive a free bag um, that includes some full size and some like um, travel size cosmetics for you guys to try. Um, okay, it was my first time ever trying Ulta Cosmetics. I don't try Ulta Cosmetics simply because they've never really called my attention in a way. But um, my cousin Jessica, bless her, um, she actually joined me on Friday um, to Ulta and she like helped me pick out a couple of stuff. So, this is just what I got. Um, okay, so in order, like I expressed to you guys, to get the bag, you guys do have to purchase $19.50 worth of stuff. So I get to the counter and um, I get this brilliant color lip gloss by, of course, by the company Ulta. And this is in the color Toast. Um, I won't swatch it for you guys just because it's a very pretty nude and you guys can't really see it on my hand. Second, um, I got another Ulta Brilliant color. This is in the color, I believe it's Plum Rose or Sugar Plum Rose. Um, it's a really, really pretty, like, mauve toned, so ready for fall. These two colors are definitely going to be in my bag for fall, um, now, the only thing about these is that they are lip glosses, so they are that sticky formula, and I hate that formula just because it never fails that when you're walking, it just, you take a mouthful of hair or it sticks to your mouth. I hate that feeling. It grosses me out, but you know what? Like I said, my cousin swatched it on her arm, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I have to have that color. I'm still going to have that color. Um, and these two, each of them were $8, so it amounts up to 16 So I still wasn't... There wasn't enough, um, and I actually also bought a makeup cleanser, makeup and sponge cleaner, simply because I ended up washing my brushes and my beauty blender with hair conditioner just because I had nothing else. And believe it or not, it actually worked pretty good, and my sponges smell like apples. And honestly, I know a lot of you guys are going to comment and say, you know what, that's not the best thing for you to do, but this is not a how-to, this is just what I did, and it worked for me. And it's, it happened that the makeup remover actually was not part of the deal for the bag. So I had to go back and get something else. And I got this um, Ulta Tinted Lip Balm, lip balm in the Gumdrops. Now, like I said, not going to swatch it just because it's a very pretty nude. Um, it is very moisturizing. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't contain SPF. You guys, your lips still need SPF protection. They're actually one of the most sensitive parts of your face. And they do crack if you guys have ever noticed. Um, honestly, to me, I've noticed that every time I go to Disneyland, if I wear a lipstick or a lip gloss that doesn't have SPF or if I don't moisturize it, my lips end up chapped and I can actually see where I got like a sunburn. Which is crazy, like that has never happened to me until recently. Um, so after I got those products, I actually got the bag. So this bag is really ready for fall. Um, the only thing I don't like, I don't like this whatever, I forgot, this fringe. Um, I wish that they would have just put like a plain old simple, you know, but it's okay. Um, but it's a really pretty bronzy color. Now in the bag, you get um, four quad eyeshadows well no sorry three quad eyeshadows they come in very different colors this one is totally my color it is so pretty for fall and I can just imagine the looks that I could do with these it comes in champagne Aztec gold verde gris and molten which you guys I'm so excited for this molten just because it's such a pretty olive green so I can't wait to see um, what looks I can do with this never I, like I said, I have never tried their eyeshadows, but I'm excited for the formula because in the packaging it looks amazing. Um, then the second quad is the Iceland Peacock Moonbeam and Sapphire. Now, this quad I'm not such a big fan of just because it has like the, all of the very blues. Um, and I, first of all, it was so hard for me to even think of what I could do with the blue eyeshadow because I think blue eyeshadow and I think of my mom's golden ages. Um, but you know what? It's worth a try. I'm going to test something out and if I like it, maybe there's a future tutorial coming up. 
And this is my quad. This one is the Innocence Havana Nights Buttercream and Blackout. These colors are so pretty. Innocence reminds me of, I forgot what the name is, it's in the Lorac Pro palette, also in the Naked 3 palette, and also in the LA Girl palette. But I love this little quad, so I can't wait till tomorrow that I can actually use it because this is what I'm going to be using for the first day of school. Um, I'm going to try to go very neutral, nothing too too out there. So if you guys want to see a tutorial, then just let me know. Um, next, it comes with these duos. This one is a glitter eyeshadow top coat. And this these colors are height maintenance and gold digger. Gold digger being on your left side, height maintenance being on your right. As you guys could see, this black has a very shimmer, like a very shimmer um, effect to it. And this is like a very... Um, and it, it's more like a highlight, like it's like how it says, it's high maintenance gold digger, so it's more like a brow bone highlight. Um, now, I'm not so fond of this black glitter just because I don't really do smoky eyes, and when I do, I, I know black is like the golden color to a smoky eye, but I kind of try to stay away from it. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what I could do with that. Next is this duo. This is a Sun Kissed Blushed and Highlighter Duo. Okay, now for this one, I don't really, really like it just because it's not as pigmented as I wish it would be. This highlighter is very, how can I say, it's very flat. There's no shimmer to it. There's actually, like, there's no color. Like, you can't see it on my skin. The bronzer, I will probably, like, the little blush on this side, I will probably use as an eyeshadow at the end of the day. So, I don't know. I'll probably use both of these for eyeshadows. Um, next, it comes with this full-size, basically berry lipstick. Um, now, this color, you guys, this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It is so pretty. A very red tone, as you guys can see. Um, it's, it's like a... Well, it's not really matte because it does have a very shimmer to it, but it is moisturizing. I did try it, and I completely love it, and I cannot wait for fall to get here because I'm so excited. Um... Also comes with, okay, when I saw this brush, it was crazy to me because this is a spoon, sponge, a sponge tip brush. Now, you guys, these, when I pulled this out of the bag, it took me back to like years way back when I was little and I used to play in my aunt's or my grandma's makeup bag and they always had these, so it's like this takes me back to my childhood. I don't really use these anymore, but I mean, I could go ahead and try. I mean, it's a free brush. Um, it also came with the eyeshadow brush as well, the flat bottom eyeshadow brush. Now this, I like it more for a concealer because it's small enough to be a concealer brush and soft enough to like go underneath your eye. And then I also got this Ulta blush brush. Now, they're actually pretty soft so I'm kind of excited. Like I said, I've never tried their brushes and I've heard that they're really, really good. Um, right now, I'm obsessed with the e.l.f. and the IT Cosmetic brushes. Like, those are my to-go brushes. I use them every day. So, we'll see what that, how this goes. Also comes with the Ulta Dual End Eyeliner. It comes in black and dark brown. This I haven't opened. Just because I'm not too fond of the deep brown. I hardly ever use deep brown, like, eyeliners. But I see what I could do with it. Honestly, you guys, I hardly ever use eyeliner at the bottom. I don't know why. Um, I hate having that raccoon eye effect at the end of the day or my it's running. It's just, it's frustrating. I don't like that. And also a mini Ulta Mineral Lip Gloss. Again, um, I'm excited for it, but at the same time I'm not just because it has that sticky formula. And I don't know if I want to be walking around eating my hair or talking and then my hair just sticking to my lips. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Also... With the full size Ulta Legendary Lynx Lengthening Mascara. Now this packaging is amazing. I love how it is. Now this brush is like a very curvy tip brush. Okay, this mascara, my cousin actually got her hands on this bag before I did. And she wasn't such a huge fan about this. Just because she said it clumped her eyelashes. And I know for a fact she does not lie to me. So I haven't tried it. I want to try it, but not when I'm going to school, kind of when I'm just going to work that I know that if I don't like it, I can take it off. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know how that works out. And also, you get a $5 off any Ulta brand cosmetics or brush purchase of $15 or more in store or online. So all of these products aren't included in your little makeup bag that goes for $19.50. Um, 
So I mean, you guys, if you guys could still get your hands on this deal, it's a pretty good deal when you think about it. You just have to make a purchase that adds up to $19.50 and you guys get all of this stuff that you guys are more than welcome to try. You get, um, what is it? Two full-size products. And I, I actually lost, it came with a little mini um, Ulta nail lacquer. It was a pretty burgundy. I never had tried their Ulta nail polishes, but I'm excited for it. But yeah, so that completes this Ulta unbagging. Um, if you guys want to see more or if you guys want to see a review about these products. Oh, huh, actually it's right here. This one's in the color Bittersweet. It's like I said, it's a really mini... Um, mini nail polish. Oh my god, this watch is horrible. Uh, you guys, you guys are gonna judge me on how I painted my nail, but as you guys can see, it is a very pretty red. Um, all this bag is like has you ready for fall, so back to what I was saying. If you guys want to see any more of the Ulta products, or if you guys want to hear or see reviews about these products before you've actually purchased it yourself, or if you guys have already purchased this product, go ahead and leave a link. I mean, a just leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about these products. And if you guys want to, like I said, hear a tutorial, see a tutorial or hear a review about what I think about these products, also go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a huge thumbs up you guys don't forget about my giveaway i am still on for that so go ahead and look at the video called quick update and yeah thank you guys for watching <laughs>